Hey, John at Witch Doctors. Going to show you something today. A uh, real common problem on the Victories. The shifter shaft seal. That's a mouthful. Shifter shaft seal starts to leak. And you see a little oil on the ground. Really easy to change. The one thing is there's a bearing behind there. So that's actually what we're going to show you today. Is how to change that bearing. If you need to change the seal, you don't obviously have to do all these steps. We have the primary cover off, okay? If you're just changing this seal down here, you don't have to take the cover off. But if you have to change the bearing, you do. So that's why we're showing you that. So also the steps that I'm showing you to change this bearing and seal is also the same to change the clutch um, arm shaft bearing and seal. It's the exact same part number for the bearing and the seal. Everything's the same. So I'll show you down here, but it works the same up there. So I'll come over to the bench and I'll show you what we're doing. First thing you want to do is kind of get this um, on something solid, okay? You want to put that, so this bearing, we're going to push this bearing out. So you want to have something solid under here because you don't want to break, you know, the, the case, uh, casting of the primary case. So all you need is a screwdriver, regular screwdriver. They make a seal tool. If you have that, if you have one of those little picks, that kind of has like a hook on it. It's a little bit easier to do, but this is no big deal. Just put that in there. You'll kind of push it in and you'll, you'll kind of feel when you, when you hit the edge. Just do that and pry back, okay? So it comes out pretty easy. You may have to pry in a couple spots, but nonetheless, it comes out pretty easy. So that's, that's the seal. The bearing, if you can see down in there, that's the bearing right here. It's really small and it's a really thin wall. So what most guys do is they try to get a socket or a piece of uh, pipe or something or a screwdriver they put in here and they try pounding that out, okay? It doesn't work or it doesn't work very well. It's a weird size that a, like a 10 millimeter socket or a 3.8 socket, nothing really fits on there that you can hold something and push that out. So what I did, I made these tools, okay? So this is a tool, it's, it's something I invented. Uh, we sell it on the site with, a, with the bearing and seal kit. If you wanna get it that way, you can get the tool by itself. But it's real simple. On this end, you just put, the, put it in there and you push the bearing out. And on this end, you know, you would put the seal and you put the seal in, okay? It's knurled on, up here so you can get a hold of it. So all you do is you put this in there, okay? And you want to get a hammer that has a little bit of ass to it. You don't want a little dinky hammer because you're going to be pounding your brains out. If you get something with some mass and some weight to it, you don't have to hit it as hard. That's just a mechanic tip, I guess. Okay, so you just hold that in there. Hold it kind of flat. You can see I'm not pounding hard. I'm just tapping it out. And it pushes it right out. So there's the little bearing that you need to change. Okay. And again, it's the same up in the clutch arm, and you would do this exact same way. So that's the bearing. You didn't damage anything, and you can see how simple that is. For you guys that have done this with a screwdriver or a punch or something, you're going to yourself right now, what the hell, that was so easy. So to put the bearing back in, you would just take your new bearing, put it on there, kind of get it down in there, and try to get it level. You can wobble this around a little bit, and you'll feel it kind of get in there. And the same thing, just start tapping little bit and make sure it's going in there square that it's not crooked or something. Just get it in there. You're going to tap it until it basically gets flush. Okay, so if you didn't do it enough, just put it back in. Tap it a little bit more and you'll see it's in there. No problem. You didn't screw the bearing up because if you're trying to pound that in, um, you know, with a screwdriver or a socket and you get it crooked, the little needle bearing in there, if you bend that case or you dent it, it's going to screw up and it's going to bind up and it's not going to work. This tool allows so that doesn't happen. Put the seal in. You want to put a little oil on it. You don't have to go crazy. Just a little lube on it. Nothing nothing crazy. Just put it in there. And it's, it's a little bit hard to kind of get it. It usually will not sit flush. It's usually crooked almost all the time. That's what seals do. So get it as close as you can. Okay, take this side this time, put it on there, and you can see how crooked it is by the angle of the, you know, this, this thing's angled. So just kind of tap and just kind of get, you know, this side here that was up, kind of get that down. 
once you get it down, you can put this flat, and you'll hear the sound change, okay, when I'm hitting this. Okay, you hear that, how it's a bigger sound? That means it's flat, because I designed the tool to be a little bigger than the seal, so that it actually rests on the case, so you know it's flat all the way across. So now, the seal is in there nice and flat. So it's that easy. Um, like I said, the seal and kit, you can buy just the little tool by itself. You can get the bearing and seal as a kit, um, or you can buy every part individually, whatever you want to do. But it's that easy to change that bearing and seal. So don't be afraid of that stuff anymore. Um, it, it's that easy. I don't know what to tell you, but that's a real common problem where they leak. So now you know how to do it. So if you need anything, check out witchdoctors.com. Give us a call, 330-856-6924. We'll help you with whatever we can. Thanks for watching.